Welcome to the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on sound waves. The topic of this video is sound is a mechanical wave and we want to know what is a mechanical wave and in what sense is sound the mechanical wave. I'm Mr. H, let's get started. In this video tutorial series, I will be discussing sound as a wave and its application to music. In order to understand sound waves, you first must understand the nature of a wave. I discussed that topic in this video, which you'll find linked to in the description section of this video. In this video, I mentioned that a wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium, transporting its energy from one location to another by means of particle-to-particle -particle interaction. In this description of a wave, a medium refers to the material through which a wave is traveling. For a sound wave, that material could be air. For a slinky wave, the medium would be a slinky. And for a water wave, the medium would be water. In this animation, the medium is a rope, and the rope is being represented by a collection of interacting particles. A wave can be introduced into the medium by vibrating the first particle up and down repeatedly. These vibrations disturb the medium and introduce energy into the medium at the hand's location. It also sets off a collection of mechanisms by which energy is transported from one location to another. As the first particle is pulled upwards, it interacts with the second particle pulling it upwards, which in turn interacts with the third particle, pulling it upwards, and so on and so forth. This type of wave is known as a mechanical wave since it requires a medium and the interactions of particles of that medium in order to exist. A sound wave has all the properties of a mechanical wave. It is created by a vibrating object, like the vocal cords of a person, or a string of a violin or guitar, or a clanging cymbal, or the diaphragm of a speaker, or my favorite, the tines of a vibrating tuning fork. A medium is required to transport these vibrations or waves from the source to the observer. The, this propagation of a wave from one location to another occurs occurs by particle-to-particle -particle interaction. A particle of air vibrates about a fixed position, and as it does, it sets its neighboring air particle into back-and-forth vibrational motion, which in turn sets the next particle into back-and-forth vibrational motion, causing the energy of the wave to be transported from the source to the observer. By its very definition, a mechanical wave is a wave that requires a physical material or medium in order to propagate or move from one location to another. A water wave would require water. A slinky wave would require a slinky. A wave on a rope requires a rope. And a stadium wave requires people within the stadium. Here is Felix who is talking to Frida. In order for the sound of Felix's voice to move from Felix to Frida, there must be something in between Felix and Frida to propagate the vibrations caused by Felix's vocal cords. That something is air. A whole collection of particles of air between these two locations becomes set into back and forth vibrational motion in order for the sound wave to travel from the source to the observer. Now it's important to recognize that the particles themselves do not move from one location to another. They simply vibrate about a fixed position, allowing the energy to move from Felix to Frida. The fact is that a mechanical wave like a sound wave can travel through any material. It just can't travel through no material. Like any mechanical wave, a sound wave requires a medium in order to move from one location to another. Mechanical waves are different than electromagnetic waves. A mechanical wave is created by a vibrating object and is propagated through a physical material. On the other hand, electromagnetic waves are created by a vibrating charge. This creates an oscillating electric and magnetic field that can travel through a physical material, but also can travel through a region void of matter. That is, electromagnetic waves can travel through a vacuum. A light wave is an electromagnetic wave. On the other hand, a sound wave is a mechanical wave that cannot travel through a vacuum. A classic physics demonstration involves placing a bell inside of a vacuum jar and evacuating air from the vacuum jar. The bell is turned on such that the clapper begins to clap upon the bell, giving the potential for the creation of sound. 
but the microphone does not pick up on this sound once the air is evacuated from the jar because there's nothing in between the source and the observer in order to transmit the sound from one location to another. Sound waves cannot travel through a vacuum. It's at this time in every video that I like to help you out with an action plan, a series of next steps for making the learning stick. But before I help you out, could you help us out by giving us a like, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a question or comment in the comment section below. Now for your action plan. Here are four resources that you'll find on our website, any one of which could be good next steps for making the learning stick. You have a simulation page that allows you to explore sound waves, and you have a Minds on Physics mission and concept builder that makes for great practice, and finally you have a tutorial page. Whatever you do, I wish you the best of luck. I'm Mr. H, and I thank you for watching.